Yay! It's the Suzanne Summers Show from beautiful, sunny California. And Big Al's Bar tonight. We're back outside at Big Al's Bar. You know, the reason we moved inside was our summers here are like your winters there. Our summers are just so hot that you can't you can't stay out in them. So we moved this, the studio inside. But today's the day we decided it was safe to go outside, be at Big Al's Bar again, and I'm so happy. And we've got steamed artichokes as our bar food tonight, which I just love. And um, that's Suzanne Selects tonight. It's the box night. Surprise inside. Want to know what's inside? Should I tell them, Caroline? Wow. Well, you know what? We're so prompt. We're like right at the beginning of November. Yeah. Let's be prompt at the beginning of the show and okay. just tell everyone about your box and what's in it. Well, the other, the last show, in in my samples in front of me, somebody had accidentally put the new clove spice uh, scented, uh, scented hand lotion in there. I looked at it like, what's that? And Caroline said, oh, that's a week early. <laughs> but tonight, we have, oh, you're just going to love it, the clove spice hand lotion. That's awesome. Awesome. The clove spice hand wash the brightening serum, and last but hardly least, our incredible hand sanitizer. Now, in order to call it hand sanitizer, we've got to have um, alcohol in there. We don't put alcohol in ours. But let me tell you what is in there. When you, rather than dry out your hands with alcohol, um, oh, we put- Oh, Suzanne, sorry. I, I, I misled you on that. We have to put alcohol in it to call it a hand sanitizer. That's what I said. We have to put alcohol <laughs> in it to call it a hand sanitizer. <laughs> it's confusing because we don't put alcohol in our other products, but we have to put it in this product or else we I, You know, it a hand when you were sanitizer. saying that to me, I thought, that's weird. Isn't the alcohol that would kill all the germs? So it, this does, this does have the alcohol in it. And it's a, a moisturizer. So it's a moisturizing hand sanitizer. And um, you're, you're just going to love it. I keep one in the car. I keep one at the sinks. I keep one in at my bath, uh, my uh, bathroom sink. I, I keep them all over the place because in today's world, you want to keep the germs down, right? So anyway, this is an incredible box tonight. You're going to love it. It doesn't come with the steamed artichokes, but that you can provide for yourself. Hey, if I, I'm just going to jump in for a second and prepare we have a lot of new people on tonight just tell everyone if you're not familiar Suzanne selects is Suzanne's subscription box and this is something that she puts out once a month or you can sign up to get it every two months or every three months yeah. it's up to you yeah and it is our best value by far it's only $39.99 every time you get it and the products change every month and this is where Suzanne debuts brand new products this is not where yeah. she you know she doesn't put clunkers in there and she doesn't put sample yeah. sizes so people freak about these boxes because it's an incredible value and you only pay thirty nine ninety nine. um so brand new two brand new products today your clove spice clove spice and it's like i don't know i remember uh, i remember when i was doing three's company uh there were no catalogs there was no online there was no social media there was no nothing there was one catalog from a store called Tiffany's. And I just, oh, I bought the stupidest stuff from Tiffany's. How many sterling silver keychains can one have? Um, but I just, you know why I did it? And I realized I was young and I was back then and I made money for the first time. I love getting a present in the mail. And I think you do too. I think that's one of the things that's fun about, about the Suzanne Selects box is like, Oh, a present came for me today. So um, uh, get on this subscription. Those of you who are doing it, write us. And Alan, you and Caroline can read um, how people feel about these. Exactly. Well, I mean, you know, yeah, for example, <coughs> this month, yeah. you're getting a retail value of 139 wow. Take a look at it. Wow. 139 
Or, yeah, and the and the, our select price is thirty nine ninety nine. You're saving a hundred a hundred dollar discount. Incredible. Chris Fruit, Chris Fruit just wrote in and said, "I absolutely love the clove sanitizer. Smells great and doesn't dry out your hands," which is exactly the point. Mm -hmm. That clove spice, that to me, it just smells like fall. I was just gonna say that it's sort of um, getting us all ready for this beautiful autumn. Even on the picture here, I've got my autumn colored clothes by stress. Um, I, I, I think it's an incredible combination of clove and spice and makes me want to make a pumpkin pie. Mm -hmm. I was thinking for Thanksgiving this year that I actually would make a pump, pump, pumpkin pies for everybody. I haven't, you know, I got burnt out on them and I started making, you know, different kind of Thanksgiving desserts, but I, this year, I think I'm gonna do a traditional pumpkin pie. How do you feel about that, Alex? Uh, I'm not a big fan of pumpkin pie. Oh. I, I would vote for a cherry pie. A cherry pie? Yeah. You're not gonna get a cherry pie. Okay, well, fair enough. So, but you don't, if I made a pumpkin pie, you don't want it? I, I have a little piece, you know. It's good, think about it with, um, with whipped, whipped cream. Warm. Yeah. I well, like pumpkin pie that you haven't cooked and then put in the refrigerator yeah. overnight. I like them out of the oven, still warm, and then put um, ice cold whipped, whipped cream. cream. Yeah, that's kind of great. Yeah, I, I'd, eat, I'd eat that. You would, I think you would like it. Yeah, I would like, like it. it. Yeah, but I'd like a cherry pie better. I will make you a cherry pie this year. Okay. Well, okay. This year. <laughs> oh, before the year is out. Well, you have to understand why I won't make him a cherry pie. Well, when yeah. I get mad, I get mad for a long time. She's ha yeah, she's had. This is a grudge she has had for 50 years. 50 years. But it took me all afternoon to pit the cherries, to uh, make the sauce for the cherries, to make the crust, to make the lattice work on the top. I made the most perfect cherry pie for him. Yeah. And he was taking a nap. And so I went and woke him up and went, oh God, I gotta get to my plane and he ran, he never ate it. Well, you should have awakened me earlier. Oh, it's my fault. Well, yes. <laughs> well, I said, win this one out. no, as, as he ran out the door, I said, I'm never making you another cherry pie because I don't even like them. I'm not like a cherry pie person. And when you hit it enough cherries to make a really good cherry pie, it's like, you don't want a cherry pie that's a wimpy cherry pie. You don't want it flat. You want the cherries mounded on the top. That's so that, right. So that's that it's right. like, it just oozes out of your mouth. And not cook too much. And not cook too much. And I did it perfect. And I'll be happy. I'll, I'll, I'll de-pit them. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I think okay. we're past the cherry season right now. Yeah, I think so. You know? So when do you have to wait till next summer? Till next summer, yeah. All right, you have a deal. Okay, if next summer. If you pit the cherries... I will yep. make you a cherry pie next summer. Okay, let's drink to that. All right, let's drink to that. Okay. Top of the morning, too. <laughs> okay. All right. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So what happened today? Well, Bruce was great. My, yeah. My, our son, Bruce, Caroline's husband. He uh, set us up. He said he's going to continue when he comes here. When are you coming, Thursday? Thursday, yeah, we're going to celebrate Bruce's birthday. I'm so excited. Hard to believe that 55 years ago, 55 years ago, there was that little face. Wow. What a privilege it is to be a mother. Right, Caroline? Oh, yeah. Oh, Nothing God. like that. It's, it's, um, it's really something. Oh, by the way, for those of you who don't know why I have this ugly collar on and I'm covering it with a scarf, I had, um, Alan and I fell uh, uh, five weeks ago on the top step of our bedroom. I was waiting out in front of, of the bedroom door for him, and I'd already fractured my hip. Not a good day. Alan comes out, he takes my hand, he trips on a boulder that was uh, built into the stairs, he went down, because I was holding his hand, I went down on top of him, and I I uh, needed immediate 
emergency uh, spine surgery. So I've got a lot of hardware in my back and it's just a long healing process. And I've had this uh, collar on now for five weeks. The doctor says two more weeks. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Do you know what it's like to sleep? I don't want to complain, but 24 hours a day with this unbelievably uncomfortable collar on. That's all the complaining I will do. Today. Okay, I was going to say. It's enough. Yeah, yeah, you'd complain more if you didn't have the collar. No, I wouldn't. I'm not a complainer. No, no. You know I am not no, a complainer. No, but if you didn't have the collar, yeah. okay, and access to great Western medicine when you need it, you would be really complaining. Well, no, I'm, I am. You know, when things go wrong, you're, you're lucky to live right. in a country that we have access to such great um, surgeons and medical procedures. So, no, I'm, I'm grateful for this. I just can't wait for it to be over. So, two, two weeks? Two more weeks. Two weeks? Unless, yeah. he, unless the doctor looks at it and says, you know, maybe you should wear it for another week or two, just to be on the safe side, you know? Well, you know, you never know. Don't say that. You know, you know. No, I don't know. But meanwhile, you don't look like you've had any issue at all with no. any part of your body, you know? You're sort of jumping out at the camera. You look beautiful tonight. It's so pretty, and it's so nice to be outside again. Yeah. So nice. Yeah, it's it, great. And it's warm. I would say, what would you say? What, what's the temperature now? Well, I'll tell you right now. I can oh. look at, look, I can find it yeah. right now. What's the temperature in L.A., Caroline? It was like late, uh, high 70s today. It was nice. Okay, okay it's 87 degrees right yeah. now in the I desert. It was close to 90. And it's going down to uh, 70, 70, 16, 16. It's going down to... 67 degrees. Oh, yay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hey, I want to remind some of, you, some of you are writing in talking about when you get your box each month. If you get your box later in the month, go onto your account on SuzanneSummers.com and move your shipping date to the beginning of the month. Because some of you, you know, when we, if you ordered it the first time, let's say it was the 20th of July, that order will trigger again yeah. the next month on the 20th. Yeah. And sometimes shipping can take up to a couple of weeks. So if you like to be one of those people who gets your box earlier in the month, go in and change your order. We would never do that on our own because we wouldn't charge you more than once a month because if that's how you signed up, we couldn't do that. But if you would like to change it, you can go into your account and do that. If you want to pause it, you can pause it. If you want to skip a month, you, it makes it very easy. You're totally in control because you go into your own account and handle it. We don't make it hard to cancel or anything we do like not. that. You know, we respect you as the customer. And I, I was giving an interview today, and, and um, uh, the interviewer asked me about all of you. And I said, I believe that my constituency, that's what you are, women and men, know that I've got your back. And I'm not trying to, like, pull one over on you or anything. I just feel that the products that we bring you in this company are so superior. These are organic products here. The only thing that's not 100% organic is the um, hand sanitizer. There's that alcohol that's in there. But the, the uh, Clove Spice body wash, it's just, oh, this is the hand wash. Keep this on your sink, and then after you've done the dishes or whatever, then just do your hands with the Clove Spice, it's so great, and then keep this next to it, your Clove Spice hand lotion, and then put the hand lotion all over it, and then um, put some of your hand sanitizer on it, and the brightener, we haven't talked much about the brightener. Do you, any of you have spots? Spots on your face, or spots on your hands, or spots? Well, here's your friend. This is called a skin brightener. And it works. When I was in uh, China uh, several years ago with Yusai Khan, a good friend of mine, uh, man, are the Chinese women into skin brightening. They're about having peach, peaches and cream skin over there. The whiter, the, the uh, less, the less marked, the better. I'm like a spotted up Irish woman, but this, I, I love the skin brightener. I've, if I'm using the skin brightener, that's the first thing I put on my face. Then I put the liquid oxygen. 
then I put the agent serum, then I put the bioactive moisturizer or whatever moisturizer I'm into that particular week because they're all so great. But I do like the bioactive because it's got CoQ10 and skin is, a, you know, about energy. And the reason when you have little girls and they come in from, or little boys and they come in from outside and their cheeks are all, all pink, it's because they've been exercising without realizing it's called sports or ball or jump rope or whatever they play. And they have a lot of CoQ10 in their skin already and that's what makes it so, their skin so beautiful and so bright and so pink and so youthful looking. So um, we've got CoQ10. Uh, why was I talking about CoQ10? Yeah, I you wondered. Went into the bioactive moisturizer. Oh, the bioactive moisturizer, that's right, yeah. yeah. Like I'm looking at the hand set, the skin. Brightening serum. Yeah, I was looking at the brightening serum. I thought, oh, no, we don't have CoQ10 there. So forgive <laughs> me. It was the bioactive moisturizer, which I love, which has CoQ10 in it. And that's why when you use it, the weight is beautiful. And when I mention all the layers I put on, you think, ooh, that must be greasy. It's not. It all goes into the pores and pumps up. And oh, it just makes your skin so beautiful. I mean, I'm 74. And I've got this stupid collar on and everything, but my skin looks great to me. It's not all whacked out and wrinkled up, which is nice. No, you look amazing. And, you know, the amazing thing about Suzanne Organics, and, uh, you know, I can toot your horn for you because mm -hmm. you've Thank just you done, such an, amazing, well, you've done okay. such an amazing job at finding these botanical ingredients that work as well or better than the chemical ingredients that we find in conventional products. Right. And like, who knew, I mean, how would, how would any of us ever know that daisy flower helps to fade the appearance of dark spots? I would never know that. And is there a melon blossom in this one? Yeah, that's what the, that's the daisy flower. The daisy flower, flower that's what I blossom. Yeah, daisy yeah, flower. yeah. Um, and, you know, but she's got vitamin C in there and, you know, she doesn't put any of the you know, bad ingredients in right. there. And right. it, what I also love about that brightening serum is that you can put it all over your face and it doesn't create like bleach spots. Some, no. some brightening products where you're trying to take down um, a bark, they'll leave like a, some, they'll lighten the skin around that area and mm -hmm. yours doesn't. So you can use this all over your face and just get a complete brightness to your complexion, which is amazing too. Al, do you want to come over on this side and eat some of your artichoke? Uh, sure. Because if you don't, I'll, I'm going to start eating your No, artichoke. you can eat my artichoke. No, I don't. I'm, I've got my own. I will have some for Bruce for his birthday because you can't give Bruce a birthday party without artichokes. Okay. Yeah. This one is the, un, the untouched one is yours. And you the can, sauce is delicious. You can have as many, as much as you want because I'm not a big artichoke. I know. Either. I don't understand why. Well, because it's a lot of work for a small payoff. Really, no. there's your payoff right there at the mm -hmm. bottom. Don't you love artichokes? Don't you love them, Caroline? I love them. I love them. I love them. Um, you have you have many five star reviews on this brightening serum on your website. I'm looking. Oh. While well, you're eating your artichoke, if you'd like me to read one, I would. Please do. It says, get the look of youthful skin. This is one of the first products I tried from Suzanne. I noticed that my skin was looking dull lackluster and just plain old wow i plan on fighting the look of aging with every fiber of my being yes glad i can now do this without chemicals and parabens this product has brought back a youthful glow to my skin i use the serum after i wash mm. and tone my face i use it in the morning before liquid oxygen i love suzanne's products my skin looks alive and young thank wow. you what a great yeah. great review i love it you know the brightening serum on its own is fifty four dollars and ninety nine cents. Wow. Well. wow. So what's this deal again? You let's see. It's you like 30, the artichoke. Thirty nine yeah. ninety nine for the whole box. So you get all four products. That's awesome. And you only pay thirty nine ninety nine. Right. Right. That's so awesome. Wow. Um, so you know, again, this is a way. Maybe you've used some of Suzanne's products, but you've never tried the brightening serum. There's a there's a, there is a method to our madness here. We're hoping that you try it and fall in love with it and that you'll use it again. But this is why people love the box, because they get these products for That's such a good deal. That's why we love the box, because we get to introduce you to products that you may not have, you might have glossed over before. 
By the way, do you notice Al liked his artichokes? It was good. I have to admit it was good. Most of them are never good. These must be fresh. This is, well, and it's the sauce. And the sauce. The sauce is uh, yeah. outstanding. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Really it's, one of, it's one of your special gifts, is yeah. making artichokes. Yeah. You have, you have many. I have many gifts. But, yeah, but making artichokes is one of them. I'm, I have gratitude that I can do that and um, let me go through what's in this box again, okay? Well, good, because Karen said I love the boxes, so... What's in people it? Want to, yeah, Jill Flint said, what's in the box? She missed it, so... She's All right, I'm going to tell you, Jill. I'm going to wait till Alan puts the sign down, and then I'm going to tell Jill. Okay. And anyone else who cares to listen. In the Suzanne Selects box, which you will get, you get the clove spice, our brand new scent. Clove spice... Hand wash. I was just saying, keep it on your sink and after you do the dishes, then wash your hands with the clove spice. You just want to smell your hands all day. And then after you wash your hands with the clove spice hand wash, then put the clove spice hand lotion on, which is, let me just, is there anything, I mean, I know our hand lotion is amazing. So, so I have a question. Yeah. Since I always do the dishes, yeah. okay? Yeah, you do. I know. How come you don't have all that stuff on the sink? I do. You do? Oh, there's several. Yeah, yeah, in that little uh, trough that's right next to the faucet, I've got all this stuff. Well, that's what I said. It's a good thing you have all that <laughs> stuff. <laughs> okay, so you know what's in the hand lotion? It's not just hand lotion. It's made with white tea leaf one of the highest quality tea leaves. It's got coconut, coconut oil, which provides a mild base to soothe the hand, and natural essential oils, which refresh with the invigorating scent of clove spice. No synthetic fragrances or chemical emulsifiers. This is all important stuff. No parabens, no animal testing, completely gluten-free. And I want to tell you something about the hand sanitizer. Not that you're asking, but there's no methanol, no methanol in the hand sanitizer. That has been banned by the FDA for being potentially fatal. So that means it's in other people's hand sanitizers, I guess, right, Caroline? Well, there was like a big run on hand sanitizers um, toward the beginning of this year, and right. then they realized some of them had methanol in it. Right. It was dangerous, so they banned it. So, If you want to know, like, when you read labels, like, what's bad, ETH, meth and all, ETH is code for chemicals. Just know that. So when you see, oh, no, methanol, it's the ETH you're looking for. And um, the fact that the FDA banned it, banned it for being potentially fatal, I think it's a really important little bit of trivia to know. And we do not have this in here. The only thing we have in here is alcohol, which I don't consider all that bad. I wonder if they use that in menthol well, we cigarettes. Also have, you know, you also have aloe vera in there to make your hands nice and smooth. You have to, you have, to have, I think it's 60% alcohol to qualify as a hand sanitizer. Uh, so we want to make sure that we qualify as a hand sanitizer because we know everyone needs it right now. Um, yeah. But yours yeah. also has other ingredients. That's right, it has soothing aloe vera and, yeah, or, okay, yeah, soothing aloe vera and no methanol and um, a light soothing gel has the invigorating scent of clove spice. I mean, this is a great product. So you got the hand sanitizer, no methanol, and then you've got the skin brightener. So if you've got spots, sunspots and sunspots on, when you're, like for me, I'm on medication right now and I can get blue so easily. And I, I find this really is so helpful, so helpful. Hey, how do you all like being back at Big Al's Bar? I'm so happy to be here. Yep, this is it, opening yeah. night at Big Al's Bar. I know, and from here on in, we can do this. Can you believe how dark it is? What time is it? Early. It's 5.28. It's pitch black here. 
Oh, did you see that moon? Yeah. Oh, wow, that yeah. was incredible. I, Halloween was a little cloudy here, but it was bursting through the clouds in a wow. pretty spectacular way. But last night, yeah. it came up over the hill. It was, I, I mean, just unbelievable. Take your breath away, beautiful. Isn't it nice you now have a, the, 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 the moon, which you didn't have before in your other house? We've had the moon for a long time here, and I, this time of year, I wait for, I love the full moon. But we had it if we went outside. We just were, it wasn't in a spot where we would be hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, now it's in the spot, it's right outside our right. kitchen window. When so. we sit here at the bar, or we're up in our bedroom, the view we have of the moon is just so It's outrageous. Incredible. It's, uh, yeah, coming I can't up. wait it's for fun. you all to come. You're probably... I don't know how much longer until the moon rises, but while you're doing your show, you may get a little moon show. I might, but no, so far nothing. What I can't get over is how pitch black it is. It's pitch black. Wow. Wow. Scary. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. You know, I don't know why so, we, we change our time every year. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. Arizona doesn't, and they, they're doing just fine. No, I don't think anyone likes it. Yeah, I think like they, I think they did it originally, yeah. having something to do with uh, people who go to work. I can't remember. It was I don't a, either, and I think they've forgotten too. Whoever they are. Yeah, I can't remember what it was, but it had to do with people going to work. I don't know well, what I don't know what the concept so was. Wow, well, I thought it was about farming. Farming? Yeah, I thought it had something to do with making sure that. The farming had the right. I don't know. If, if any of you guys know, yeah, okay. Vicky's agreeing with me. Farmers. Farmers. What would that? Yeah. Oh, so that they could stay longer. Yeah, that could. they have to have a certain number of hours of daylight. Everyone's saying farmers. Oh. It was for farmers. Yeah. Oh. Okay. But this is actually less daylight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it gets lighter. So the farmers can get up earlier and go out and till the soil? <laughs> farmers and school buses. Oh, so it isn't so dark in the morning for farmers and school buses. Really? So it gets lighter earlier. Yeah. So they can get up and do what they need to do. I don't know, but I don't understand. I don't know. I don't really get it. No. Here's a Someone bee. can explain it to us. What's this one lone bee be doing out here all by itself tonight? Oh, Jennifer Burgess. She's she's one of our longtime friends. Right. She said it started in 1966. She was reading today. Jennifer, tell us more. Yeah. Synthesize it into two sentences. Yeah. Because <laughs> these comments go by so fast. I well, know. Danielle said, I love your vanilla orange hand cream. It healed my eczema, which is a disease, so we can't. We can't promise that. That's her personal experience. Right. Um, you look wonderful. Sending you love and prayers. Well, if you love that vanilla scent, wait till you guys smell this clove spice. Mm -hmm. Brand new. Two products. Right. Brand new debuting tonight right. at Suzanne Selects. The, the clove spice hand wash and the clove spice hand lotion. And as you know, if you use any of Suzanne's products, she doesn't use any chemical sensing agents because that's what really dries out your skin and it strips your skin and it makes it dry. She uses coconut cleansers, so when you use her hand wash, your hands are not all stripped. Yeah. They feel great, and right. then you put this beautiful lotion on afterwards that doesn't have any chemical fillers in it, and your hands actually feel moisturized, and it's spectacular. I am proud of our products. I just think that they are, there's nothing like them out there, to me, anyway. I haven't. I always look through fashion magazines to see who's doing organic and nobody's doing it. Why, why is it taking so long for the rest of the country, maybe the world, to catch on to organics and the incredible health value of putting clean products on your skin? You know, the chemicals that enter the, enter the body through three portals, the skin, the GI tract, and the air we breathe. And so... There's not much we can do about the air we breathe, except in your house you can put HEPA filters and and uh, you know air, air 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 conditioning devices that clean your air. That's the best you can do. 
The second thing you can do is to protect your GI tract is to eat food that's organic so you're not taking in chemicals. And then the third thing is what you put on your skin. And what you put on your skin is going to end up in your bloodstream. And when it ends up in your bloodstream, it's going to work through your body till it gets back in the GI tract and it starts eating through your, um, your barrier wall in your GI tract, causing leaky gut. Have you heard of leaky gut? So there's all sorts of reasons to switch to organic. And you're all so smart, you've done it. That's why you're here every week with me. And, that, and that's what we like to talk about, is, is um, how to fight the invisible enemies that have crept up into our lives. When I was a kid, there was not such a thing as organic, because everything was organic. Our food was organic. Nobody sprayed poison on our food. Who thought it was a good idea to spray poison on our food? The guys manufacturing the poison. The guys manufacturing the poison. Well, you guys, guess what? What? Guess who is to blame for daylight savings time? Who? Alan. Alan Hamill? It's Alan's fault. Because? It is. What you do, Al? It's your fault, Al. It started in Canada in 1908. Oh. Canada? Oh. Canada. They were the very first. Oh, Al. They, most people think it was Germany and Austria who mm. did it in um, 1916 during, um, during the war, but it was actually Canada by eight years. You and your people, Al. So did, did it say why they did it? Okay. Yes. Oh. Okay, well, that oh. makes sense. I understand that. They were that. trying to create more daylight hours. So there yeah. Was, and so now they, have, now they have it, you know, again, having more daylight hours to help the farmers. Well, you did it, Al. You and your people. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Although Al is now an American. Well, I'm bisexual. I mean, I'm bicultural. Well, he's, he's dual. He's a dual citizen. You're a dual yeah, citizen. I'm a dual. And you're my jewel. Yep. I love you, Al. Yeah. No, I'm glad I was raised in Canada because mm -hmm. I have that, you know, Canadian politeness, nice. niceness, quality. Yeah, you do. I do. Yeah. You're, you're a good man. And so, if for no other reason, plus the fact that I went into radio and television in Canada at the right time. Come over here and tell them, Al. Well, there's really like looking at you. Come there's here. really not a lot to talk about. Yeah, there is. There is. Yeah, I like I like when you toot your horn a little bit. That way, I can get into the heart of the artichoke. Okay. So I'm actually using you. While he's making his way around there, I'll just remind you guys that the Suzanne Select box is it's always thirty nine ninety nine when you get it, and you can decide to get it once a month. You can get it every two months, or you can get it every three months. You can pause or cancel it very easily whenever you want. Um, it will always be worth at least $120. Tonight, it's worth $139, so it's actually a crazy good deal. This is um, like one of the best deals has, we brought you. Yeah, the, it is. It has four full-size products. Debuted two brand new products tonight, the hand wash, the hand lotion. Right. You have Suzanne's amazing hand sanitizer, with the, and they all have this clove spice scent that's mm -hmm. going to make you just crazy for fall. And the brightening serum, which um, helps reduce the appearance of age spots. You can use it on your hands, you can use it on your face, on your arms, yep. or your chest, wherever you have spots that you um, would like to minimize the appearance of. Come here, Al. Okay. Okay? Okay. So what did you want to know? I want you to um, eat an mm -hmm. artichoke. Yeah. You want a piece of heart. Yeah. Do you remember why he was coming over here, Caroline? <laughs> no, to toot his horn and to, he, he's coming over there because you think he's cute. 
cute and you want people to be able to see him. I want people to see you because I think you're so cute. Yeah, well, you do look super cute tonight, Al. Look at you two are so cute. Wow. I know. Wow. And, Don't rip this and on And Suzanne wanted to be able to eat artichokes uninterrupted, so she's hoping you yeah, can carry so, the show for a little while. I know, so talk, <laughs> talk to them a little bit while I grab this heart. Yeah, you're tearing the heart out of it. I'm tearing the heart out of this thing. Wow. Artichoke. Is this, is this a new shirt? Uh, Alan's shirt? Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It is? Well, I've never is seen it, it It's before. cute. Uh-huh. Yeah, I just, I've never worn it before. You know how to dress. Thank you. Um, um. My mother taught me how to dress. I don't think so. No, she didn't teach me. I think you have, you came to this on your own. Actually, she used to dress me in what we call britches. Oh. Which I think you they were did? Like jodhpurs, right? Oh. Jodhpurs. Oh. And when I was. I had a pair of those. I was, I was uh, studying at the Royal Conservatory of Music mm -hmm. in Toronto. Mm -hmm. And they would have recitals twice a year, which I hated. I bet you did. And Why I, did you hate them, Al? Because I, I didn't want to play the piano. Oh. Why did you want to play the piano? Because I wanted to play something other than what they were teaching. What? They were teaching me classical music. Right. And I wanted to play jazz. Mm -hmm. And every time I play a little mm -hmm. jazz, the she, uh, slap you? she would hit me over oh. the knuckles with a ruler. Those are those old-fashioned teachers. Yeah, today she'd be in jail. Yeah. Yeah. I know. None of that. You know who taught me to play the piano? The nuns. You really? want to? You want to learn how to play boring piano? Wow. Play um, da 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 di da da da. Oh, yeah. Did you play Frere Jacques? Yeah. Da da di da 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 da. Is that Frere Jacques? No, but it sound, they all sound the same. They all sound the same. So what are you making for dinner tonight, Caroline? I'm making tacos. Mm. Mm. Like mm. good old American tacos. Mm. Yeah, but she, does, heard, she doesn't yeah. make anything ordinary. I heard, I heard pop lovers. Yeah. I yeah, love tacos. pop lovers. Mm. Um, what should we make for Bruce for his birthday? Pop lovers. On Thursday. With what me. do you think? I don't know. Hot dogs. Well, we'll start with artichoke, because that's a winner. Yes. I'll think about yes. it. Yes. You think right. about it, and I'll you think, think about, about it. it. Yeah, and I can make whatever you need me to, but whatever you want to make, you make first, and I'll fill in with whatever you need. Okay, me. great. That's great. Mm -hmm. Okay, you Hot can dogs. you can do tornadoes Rossini. <laughs> 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 okay. When I first started cooking, I cooked because I was reading cookbooks, um, and um, the first cookbook I read was Jacques Pépin, who. <laughs> who everybody yeah. in France, when I mentioned Jacques Pépin, they laugh, because Jacques Pépin is just a French guy who came to America right. and created Jacques Pépin. There's really no Jacques Pépin, but anyway, he wrote a- But well, he's a good chef. He was a good chef, and I, I, yeah. I read his cookbook start to finish, Well, he and used to cook with, uh, what's her name? Julia? Julia Childs. Yeah, she found him too, because we all thought, well, cooking with Jacques Pépin. Maybe they had a little thing going. With Julia, ooh, ooh. Julia, and Julia, Chuck. yeah, maybe. J and J, yeah, maybe. You never know. Mm -hmm. Okay, she has something going on besides cooking on the stove. Maybe. Aren't these artichokes great? They're you love great. them. You I can have some of my heart. Yeah, I wouldn't say love. I say I'm, I'm enjoying them. You're liking? Yeah, I'm liking them. Okay. It's this is how much she's gonna like your pumpkin pie. Yeah. <laughs> But the rest of us will like it. Yeah. Well, if we had a cherry pie here, yeah. it'd be all over you. Yeah, but there, it's, remember, not till next summer. I well, can't wait to cook at Thanksgiving. That's, mm -hmm. that's our favorite thing. Me too. I'm really looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. And I love being in the kitchen. And um, this is probably, well, we've said this before, haven't we? But this is probably our last uh, Thanksgiving in this house, because... Next year we'll be in the other house. Yeah, you have a lot of people asking for updates on the house because I think you had originally said you were moving in November. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> um, <laughs> it you know, never ask your contractor 
when you're going to get to move in. I think probably next spring, don't you, Al? Uh, yeah, probably February. March. Maybe March. March. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, it's so beautiful, though. It's so clean and so white. And I'm this weekend, even though it was hard for me to get around with my walker, I can't believe I have a walker, um, we really started the throwing out process, which is... Oh, just, good for you. It feels so good. Just crap. It does. Crap yeah. that you don't need. And I keep hearing Bruce's um, voice in my head. Nobody wants your old stuff, so... That's, it. That's how I threw things out. Not stuff that you'd like, Caroline. <laughs> that I know. No, that. just, you know, put them in a big bin downstairs and let someone go through them and then let them go. It's, well, it's I, when you try to, you know, I mean, my sister Anita, God bless her, when she moved her in-laws out of their home that they'd been in for 40 years, right. she mean? must have had seven garage sales. Oh and estate sales, oh and God. then brought things to consignment stores, oh and God. then brought things to private deal. Oh I mean, God. no one has ever worked harder to get mm. every red cent out of everything that mm. they had. Mm. And I kept saying, Anita, it's okay. Like, you have you gave it a go. It's okay just to donate the stuff now. But yeah. you know what? You just don't get – there's just not a lot of value for it. And oh. if you donate it, you – you know, it helps someone because, you know, you send it to places where they sell it and the money goes to a good cause and, you know. We have a place here in the desert. When you give them your bins of stuff you're throwing out, all the proceeds go to AIDS and AIDS research. And I feel really good about that. And then other people oh, get that's to... that's great. To, Is it the Desert AIDS Foundation or a different yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do such good work down here at the desert. Absolutely. What are you doing, Alan? Oh, I was, I was yeah, just going to... Yeah, that's good. And it takes a long time to do it, so you're smart to start now. Yeah, and, and once you let it go, you don't even remember what it is that you got rid of. I keep hearing Bruce saying to me, nobody wants your old stuff. And I realize nobody yeah. does. Nobody wants your old stuff. So all my friends who are my age are throwing stuff out. I, maybe that's what you do in your 70s. You throw stuff out. I don't want stuff anymore. How about, answer me, those of you out there. Do you want your old stuff? Are you just getting sick of your crap? Are you getting eaten by all your crap? What I want is... Well, a lot, a lot of people have been doing it during quarantine. Yeah. Yeah, I think that that, is, that has stirred it up with a lot of people. So... You know, I'll bet there's been a lot of fallout that we don't hear about. What do you mean fallout? Well, during the quarantine. I yeah. mean, yeah. think about uh, families where the wife or the husband is always away, working, mm -hmm. right, on the road. And all of a sudden, they're all stuck together in their house with their kids mm -hmm. who are hopefully learning something sitting in front of a, a screen every day isolated from the rest of the classroom. I was fascinated talking to our nephew, Mark, who's up in Toronto, that his grandchildren are uh, going to school online. And he said, it's not good. They're not paying attention. I don't think it's good for anybody. It's not good for anybody. Yeah. Wow, it's hard. And also, you know, kids in class, I mean, they're, the socialization aspect of that yeah. is really important. It's That's, all about socializing. Well, listen, no one wants to get kids back in school more than their parents. Nobody. But. Yeah. yeah. We're in a rough spot right now. Yeah. So. yeah. Everyone's making their best of it, but I think you're absolutely right, Alan. I think the dynamic at home is really, it's stressful for a lot of people. If you've got kids and trying to, you know, keep it, or someone in your home who you have to be careful of for immune yeah. reasons, I mean, it's just a stressful time. So and then add to, add to that no income. No income. No income. And, um, yeah, no income. No income. I think of the. I think I'm sure a lot. There are a lot of divorces happening. Yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of suicides happening. We don't hear about this not stuff. Us, Al. Not us. No. No. We wouldn't have. The more time I can spend. Yeah, our job better. here is to like go back to the sunny and give a break from that stress because it's. I mean, it's accurate. It is stressful. That's why we just get together and have a tequila and talk about. Nice yeah. Things. Right. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yes. Yeah, no politics here ever. This is just about, let's just let all the stress go, have a tequila, have an artichoke. Wow, was that good. That artichoke was so good. I bet you all want an artichoke. Yeah, I love you. And you know, it's the small things, you know, when you can swing it and you can do something nice, you take such appreci appreciation with like a great scent or a great meal that you can make or good music or, well, you know, laughing spice, with people yeah. like on a, on a Zoom call or whatever it is you can do to bring those bright spots. Clove spice, hand wash. Clo clove spice. Clove spice, it, it, it really hand is. lotion. You take a deep breath of that and it just, it transports me. Clove spice. It hand sanitizer, skin brightener, it's all coming in your box. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Retail value $140. Mm -hmm. And the Suzanne Selects price mm -hmm. is $39.99. You're saving $100. That's crazy. This is a... I know. You know I think that's because we had those two brand new products and we really wanted to put them in the box. Yeah, so, no. I, I'm all in, you know what? Is just, it's, a, it's an expensive product. The brightening serum alone is $55. That's a, I wow. had no idea it was that much, to tell you the truth. Wow. Oh, but yeah. It's worth I mean, it. that stuff. And, you know, I mean, it, it lasts, that's that's a, about a month's worth inside, depending on, you know, if I would say if you use it on your face nightly. Right. And that's when I would recommend you use it. Um, as Suzanne said, wash your face put on your toner and then the first item in your serum and moisturizer lineup is the brightening serum right absolutely and it really helps target those you know the appearance of dark spots so it just evens out your skin tone and just um you know how you feel when you put on a primer under your yep you yep. know when you when you get that extra glow out of right. your skin right. that's what i feel like this yeah. does i feel like it just gives your whole complexion it does. A, little, a little brightening it does yeah. I, I need that. You need I, that? I need that. Put some on right now. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. He's Mikey, isn't he? Okay. Yeah. And then, Alan, you're going to try the, uh, the lotion. You want to see you okay, smell the lotion. Okay, so put this lotion. on your face. That's your skin brighter. Yeah, that's right. You you complain about spots on your... And, you know, you see this spot on oh, his you nose? You see this thing on my nose? She took a... She, she took a swipe at it. Yeah, right. Okay. That's what she did to my nose. He has three, it's an easy target. When three you have a nose like this, hairs it's a, coming out of his nose. No, only two. Oh, two. Two hairs. And I say, let me, with my tweezers, and which like I enjoy, know. do this, pull him out. Yeah. And he's always picking at it. Look what he did. No, I didn't pick at it. I took a razor and I went oh, and I shaved God. it. Oh, God. And I'd oh like to, God. I'd like Some to know, you know, you what, what, one of the, no. one of the, the, the little, what are they called? Not tricks, but like little things that happen as you age. Yeah, there's a lot of them. You get hair where you don't want it, <laughs> and you lose hair where you do want That's it. That's true. Okay? That's true. So is that like a, is that like God's little joke? Okay? <laughs> Let's hope so. Yeah, okay. So how do I just do yeah, this? Yeah, put that on. Carrie, Carrie, yes, the skin brightener does have vitamin C, but what Suzanne has in it that is the active ingredient is the Apomello Blossom. It's a daisy yeah. flower extract. Yeah. And that's the main um, ingredient that helps fade the appearance of age spots. You know what? You should use this every day. You're going to love it. Don't tell me what I should be doing, okay? I don't, okay. No. <laughs> He's a little feisty tonight. I know he? what I should be doing. <laughs> Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. That nice so part of him. Okay. Damn, I, I swear, you two at 84 and 74, you look really good. Well, thank you. Yeah, John Harris, he's 84. Who's John Harris? He's someone who just asked, how old is Al? Oh, how old is These Al? two are 74 and 84. I mean, they look spectacular. Just, I don't know. I well, I'm going to say $39.99. I want what you guys are using. <laughs> we eat right. We, um... You know, the only thing we're not doing? What? When Suzanne was doing Three's Company, she had a makeup artist who was Japanese. And Suzanne, oh. would, Suzanne would say to her, you have the most incredible skin. Sorry. 
And this woman, this woman was like in her 60s. She said, you have the most incredible skin. How do, what are you doing? She says. And she said. I drink the pee. I said, what? She said, I drink the pee. I said, did you just say you drink the <laughs> pee? Yeah, every morning I drink the pee. I said, whose pee? My pee. You drink your pee? Yeah, make beautiful skin. I went, what? Oh, it's a tough one. Okay. I, I think it's the, there's something about uric acid that oh. some people tough one. say. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I'll take the bright mix serum with the three extra bonus products for less than the cost of the bright mix serum. Right. Huh. Okay, what time is it? It's 5.54. Okay. Well, I'm going to go. I'm not going to drink the pee. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. No, you know what? We, we should try it. No. What do we got to lose? No, I'm not doing that. I mean, what do we got to lose? I know it's disgusting, but you know, maybe. Said we should put it in next month's box. Oh, <laughs> thank, you so thank you so much. Right, right. That's really great, Julia. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, but whose are we going to be using? I know. <laughs> well, Alice, you want to wrap it up and show everyone the uh, sign again? Okay. So more. Okay. Incredible Suzanne Selects box. This is a crazy deal, okay? Crazy. The retail value of the box is $139.96. Let's call it $140. And the, what you pay is $39.99, no more. And every month the box comes, or every two months or three months, whatever you want. And by the way, I ordered one of those things where they say, okay, we're giving away 1,000 free bottles today so you can try it. So I thought, wow, well, I'd like to try that. So I tried it, and then it started coming every month. So I called him and I said, uh, I don't want to receive this anymore. And it kept on coming. Yeah, so finally I called him back and the guy said, okay, we'll give it to you for half price. I said, I don't want half price. I don't want it. And he said, okay, well, what do you want? I said, I want you to stop. Otherwise, as soon as I get off the phone, I'm calling the Better Business Bureau. Is so and that's key? the key. Oh, yeah. When you get when you get in one of those things where they keep sending you stuff, yeah. tell them you're going to call the Better yeah. Business Bureau and Bureau, and if they they don't stop, call. Yeah, we we give you access to your own account, so you can change your preferences whenever you want. If you're technically challenged and would have no idea how to do that, just call the 800 number. It's on the website, and they'll do it for you. And they're open during business hours. They're super friendly, right. and we don't try to trick you. We just want you to get no. these products at a good price because we know if you do. I you hope you, order them yeah, again. I hope you know by now that we totally respect you as friends and customers. I've got your back. I'm bringing to you what I know that I want for myself is that products that will help not harm me, that will enhance my health, not detract from my health. And that's what we're trying to bring to you. And I hope you enjoyed our show tonight. And our next show is... Our next show is Thursday night, and we are oh, going to celebrate Bruce. Bruce's birthday. Yeah, okay. So All we're right. going to come out there and, and have a visit. It's been too long. Okay, Bruce and Caroline will be here at Big Al's Barn. I hope you're glad we're at Big Al's Barn. I love you all, and I appreciate, I appreciate all of you so much for staying with us. So good night. Have a good evening. I love you. Good night, I, I love you.